like a name, AI? It sort of sounds a bit like love. Yeah, AI. I, I hate the word AI called artificial intelligence. I call it Alibaba intelligence. Yeah. I think generally people um, underestimate the, the capability, capability of AI. They sort of think like it's a smart human. Um, but it's, it's, it's really much, it's going to be much more than that. Um, it'll be much smarter than the smartest human. The biggest mistake that I see artificial intelligence researchers making is assuming that they're intelligent. Yeah, they're not compared to AI. And so like, a lot of them cannot imagine something smarter than themselves, but AI will be vastly smarter, vastly. In a situation where, you, if you, you know, the old saying, if you, can't, if you can't beat him, join him. You know, that's what Neuralink is about, is like, uh, can we go, be, go along for the ride with AI? I'm not a tech guy. I think more about life. It's so difficult to predict the future. 99.99% of the predictions that human being had in history about the future, all wrong. Including that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only, you know, the, the 0.00% of the prediction are right. They're right because by accident. Yeah, but it's also true that 80% of statistics are false. Yeah. So, my meaning well, is cold that... room. Come on, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> when people worry a lot about artificial intelligence, people should have more confidence in themselves. A lot of solutions we don't have today, but there will be solutions tomorrow. We don't have solutions, but the young people will have solutions. So, I'm quite optimistic. And uh, I don't think artificial intelligence is a threat. I don't think artificial intelligence is something terrible. But human beings are smart enough to learn that. People worry a lot about this today are those people, I call them college smartness. People like us, street smart, we never scared of that. We, we think it's a great fun and we want to change ourselves to embrace it. I'm a naturally optimistic person, to be clear. I'm not saying, hey, doom and gloom. Uh, I'm just saying the rate of change of technology is in incredibly fast. It is outpacing our ability to understand it. I'm not sure, is that good or bad? I don't know. I demand that you want to go on the Mars. Shall we go to the, the Mars? Actually, I'm not interested in the Mars. I just came back from there, so. <laughs> I'm more interested on the Earth, the things, what's going on happening here. So what, what, why are you so curious about the Mars? It's not, not from, from the standpoint of it just being an escape hatch or because I think that Earth is doomed. Um, but there's a certain probability that is irreducible uh, that something may happen to Earth, despite our best intentions, despite everything we try to do. This is the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth that it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth. And we should do, try to do this as quickly as possible. I admire your courage for explore the Mars. I'm not that fan of the Mars because I think it's easy to go to the Mars when you go on the top of the hills or of the, or, of the building. Just a one step, you go to the Mars, but you will never be able to come back. Yeah, that, so that, that's that, my that's view. That's not how it works, though. And uh, <laughs> also, also, no, don't I, do it. <laughs> I hate to go to the Himalayas too. I mean, when you climb on the I think someday I will go there when the elevator is ready, I will go there and have a look. I heard you, you're going to dig a tunnel in deep in the earth, which is amazing. Every time when I read the news about you are interested in the outside space, I look at you with great respect. We need heroes like you, but we need more heroes like us, working hard on the earth, improving things every day. That's what I want. Sure. I, I mean, to be clear, I'm very pro-earth. Yeah. <laughs> From a resource standpoint, I'm talking about less than 1% of Earth's resources should be dedicated to uh, making life multiplanetary or, co or making consciousness multiplanetary. I think it should be like somewhere in between uh, how much we spend on lipstick and how much we spend on healthcare. Like at least half a percent of Earth's GDP on extending life to be multiplanetary. Maybe 1%, I'd say, seems like a good, a good use of resources two orders of magnitude more resources spent on Earth. It seems like a wise investment for the future. And obviously I spend a lot of my time on sustainable energy with Tesla, with uh, you know, electric cars and solar and batteries and that kind of thing. And um, you know, I'm really excited to be here in, in Shanghai for 
the, the Shanghai Gigafactory, which is, um, I think, uh, the Tesla China team has done an amazing job, R really mind-blowing. Like, I'm just uh, astounded by how good the job is um, and how much progress has been made. And I think it's a good uh, story for the world and to say, like, look, look how much uh, progress you can make in, in China. This is extremely impressive. Uh, like, my, my hat is off, you know, you guys rock. I've never seen anything built so fast in my life before, to be totally frank. <laughs> and I've seen some crazy things. So, you know, I think it's like, I really think China is the future. Well, it's very impressive. And uh, there's also some great progress on uh, entrepreneurial rocket companies in China as well. I, I believe two have made orbit, and it's very difficult, very hard to make orbit. Achieving orbit, I have great respect. This is very hard. You yeah. want to pick up another topic? Sure. Yeah. Jobs? Uh, well, should, anyway, should I pick it? Jobs. <laughs> jobs or life? Jobs. We're sure, here. anything. Sure. Okay. Uh, In the next 20, 30 years, human beings will live much longer. The life science technology is going to make people live probably 100, 120 years. That may not be a good thing because you get a grandfather's grandfather still working hard. But the challenge is my question, why should we have a lot of jobs? I think people should work three days a week, four hours a day. When we have electricity, the power of electricity is that we make people more time. So you can go to the karaoke in the evening, you can go to dancing party in the evening. I think because of artificial intelligence, people will have more time enjoy being human beings. In your life, in my life, I think I visited probably 300 cities in my life. My, grand, my father visited 30 cities, my grandfather would visit only three cities. So my grandchildren probably, probably will visit 3,000 cities all his life. He's always on the Tesla. He's always on the robots, always traveling around. So I don't think we need a lot of jobs. And at that time, the jobs we need is make people happier, make people experience the life, enjoy the human beings. So I'm, I don't worry about the job, jobs a lot. First, we are going to have a lot of jobs. Second, we don't need a lot of jobs. Third, there's a very interesting thing. In the agriculture period, average age is like a 30, 35 years old. In the industrial period, technology revolution, people can live 70 years. So in the artificial intelligence period, people can live 120 years, that's I think. Now the problem comes. When people's life is getting better, people don't want to have, have children. So we need artificial intelligence, to, the robots to take care of the old guys. For sure, you will not be happy, or you were happy, because when your grand grandfather said, "Oh, I need to work tomorrow," then that's a disaster. Yeah, over time, AI will make jobs kind of pointless. I would recommend studying engineering, physics, that kind of thing, um, or working on something where people just want to interact with other people. You know, art, of course. We're going to have to figure out this Neuralink situation. Otherwise, we will be left behind. It's very important we do this quickly. We don't have much time. We don't have much time for what? We don't have much time to solve the neural link. Uh, I never worry about the things that I cannot solve. I let other people to solve it. Sure. If nobody can solve it, just let it be. That's my life. Oh, let's talk about education. I'm quite interested about education. People worry about jobs, but I worry about education. China today, we have um, 18 hundred new babies born every year, which, which is not enough. We need, we need to have like uh, much more than that. But I think the best resources of the human beings on the, or, or the best resources on the earth are not the coal, not the oil, not the electricity, it's, it's the human brains. In my life, and especially last two years when people talk about AI, say uh, human, human being will be controlled by machines, I never think about that. I think it's, 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 it's impossible, right? It's impossible because human beings, they are different. 
machines are invented by human beings. And according to the science, right, humans can never create another animal that is smarter than humans. Especially when you have so many smart people, it's impossible to make another smart people. I, I very much disagree with that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. We can definitely make things smarter than ourselves. I mean, the, they didn't used to be humans, right? So the, uh, then, the, like I said, the most important mis mistake I see smart people making is assuming that they're smart. They're not. Yeah. So give me an example what uh -huh. animals or things that a human being made that is smarter than human beings. Well, computers actually are already much smarter than, than people on so many dimensions. We just keep moving the goalposts. Trying to play a, a computer Go is like trying to fight uh, Zeus. It's not going to work. There's just a smaller and smaller corner of, of, what, of intellectual pursuits that humans are better than um, computers. And that every year, it gets smaller and smaller. And, and soon we will be far, far surpassed in every single way, guaranteed. It's stupid to compete with a computer on play Go. Computers are, are clever, but there will be more tools that human beings will create, much cleverer than computers. That's my view. Life or human being machines, so you want to talk about your cars, automotive, autonomy. What do you want to talk? This, feel, this feels like one of those steps in a video game where you've got to like, pick a path the choice. I choose life. Okay, life. So how much longer do you think people can live for with the help of AI? Can AI help with environment sustainability? Can you? If, if, we, can, if we can do the neural lace, then I think, or the neural link, essentially, the age will not matter that much. You can simply save your state. Uh, and, and restore your state, like, like a saved game, essentially, something very close to that. Um, I do think we can, we can solve biological aging if we really wanted to. Um, you'd, you'd have to make DNA changes, but it's, we're obviously just on a, on a clock. Well, I think AI can definitely help the environment sustainability. And when human beings know themselves better, human beings will be smarter and will be wiser. I want to stay in this earth. I want to work on this earth. I want to do anything I can to help this earth to better. Because even in a go to the space is great. But if we can spend at resources just to focus on helping pick up the garbage from the oceans, that thing is more difficult than to go to the Mars. But artificial intelligence can help us achieving that and solve the problems. My hope is that anything we can do is to improve this world, to helping 7.4 billion people live better and live healthier. And this is all about our world. And uh, I think we will be working very happily because I, I love your product, Tesla. You know, making world cleaner and uh, no noise and uh, you know, so, so, such great technology. I'm happy you have a the factory in China. And I think we need to do more things to improve this earth, improve this world, and make sure that people are happier and people care about the family, people care about the health. That's all we should do. And trust us, trust the human beings, and trust young people. Let's take responsibility for today but let's not take away all the solutions for tomorrow. It's great human beings make mistakes. It's great human beings learn from mistakes. It's great to die. <laughs> That's probably true. Thank you. Yeah, you cannot There's, live long. I just like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Fight for the light of consciousness. Thank you, Lord. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this.